I want to talk to you about labiaplasty today. If you look at the, uh, the outside of the vagina, which we call the vulva, it consists of the mons pubis, the clitoris, the labia minora, the labia majora, and the perineum area. And when we talk about labiaplasty, what we talk about is the reduction of both the labia minora and the labia majora and or the labia majora. The labia minora, it's what most uh, women have uh, uh, surgically repaired is the labia minora and that is also called labiaplasty. And if we look at the next slide, what we see is there's, uh, there are different ways of doing labia minora plasty. And really, uh, it depends on your labia, it depends on the hyperpigmentation, how long it is, where is the length of it. And if we look at the next slide, what you're gonna see is this is just an example of a linear uh, reduction of the labia uh, minora from Dr. Karam's uh, book. And in the next slide, you'll see the Z-shaped reduction of the labia minora. Uh, there are other ways of doing it. There's the, the wedge shape, there's also the de-epithelialization, but again, it all depends on your type of labia. There's other things that women do as well to the vulva to uh, rejuvenate that area, which is also a reduction of the labia major majora, the mons pubis, and, and not all of it has to be surgical. Um, sometimes you can uh, do significant uh, uh, reduction in the labia or a more youthful look to it, bring a more youthful look to it by doing laser therapy or platelet-rich plasma. Uh, uh, fat fillers, but most of the time, depending if it's a long labia or a, a, a major or minor, the, the, the surgical route would be the, the preferable uh, route to go.